Welcome to Counselor's Corner. My name is Craig Hawkins. I'm a counselor at Midland High School, and this is Jill English, counselor at Dow High School. We're here today to talk about some of the important things that are happening in the month of October. One of the main things is for seniors to get their college applications out. This is really a three-step process. First, we ask students to go onto the college website and look at the application, complete it, submit it, also submit their payment for that application. Some colleges require a payment, some don't, but students need to make sure if the college does require a payment for that application that they do that. Then they need to go on a program called Parchment. Last year when they were juniors, we got all the juniors in the, in the computer lab and we showed them how to get on Parchment, set up an account so that as seniors they can then submit their uh, request to send a transcript to each one of the colleges they've applied to. And the last step is to make sure that they have their ACT scores sent to those individual colleges. Now sometimes they sent them when they actually signed up for the ACT. There were four colleges that they could request the scores automatically be sent to. But they may have additional schools that they want to send those scores to. There they need to go on actstudent.org and request to have those ACT scores sent to those individual schools. After they finish that three-step process, they will establish an application or admissions file with that individual college and then their applications will be reviewed and they'll have to wait uh, it varies from college to college on when they hear whether they've been admitted or not now if your student has a problem or has uh, some concern with that make sure they come and see their counselor so that we can help them through that process another important thing that happens in the month of October is the PSAT test that is the practice SAT and that's a great time to go in take a standardized test and sit in a, a large area where it is timed and you really get an idea of what it's like to take these college entrance tests. And again, that's a practice SAT. And that is done at the high schools on a Wednesday, actually October 15th at both Dow High and Midland High, we're gonna be offering that to students. It's in the morning and students need to register for that test. Now, we're doing that a little differently this year where they're gonna be registering online and they'll make their payment online. And we'll be informing students uh, in the October, in the month of October, how to go about doing that to make sure that everybody gets registered that wants to take that test. So that's kind of a couple of important things that students need to do in the month of October. One of the great features that is available to both students and parents is um, online and it's called Home Access Center. If you're not familiar with Home Access Center, it is an online feature for students and parents to use to keep track of student grades, and it's also a way to communicate with teachers via email. Um, it's very simple to create an account. If you don't already have an account, you just need to make sure that you have an email address on file with the school. And the first time that you go on to Home Access Center, Home Access Center you would go to the Midland Public School website. Click on the Parents tab or the Students tab, depending on which one applies to you, and look for the Home Access Center link that you can click on. You'll type in your username, which will be your email address that you have on file, and then for the first time that you register, you can click on the button that says, I would like to register, and you create your password. Once you get on there, it is very simple to navigate, and you can keep track of your students' grades, find out how they're doing in each class, see if they're missing any assignments, and then there's also a link where you can click on to email the teacher and communicate with them if you have any questions. So this is a, this is a great way to keep up to date with your students' grades and not have to wait until the end of the marking period. Uh, speaking of the end of the marking period, it's not happening during the month of October, but the week of November, the first week of November, November 7th, will be the end of the first marking period. And that is when final grades will come out. But you can, can monitor the progress throughout that time frame on Home Access Center. And I would also like to let you know that parent-teacher conferences will be happening at the high school on October 14th in the evening from 5 to 8 p.m. So this is your chance to come in and meet with the teacher, sit down for a few minutes, and speak with them one-on-one -on -one about the progress that your student is having in school. So that will wrap up the October edition of Counselor's Corner. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time.